Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Angry Hippie Lady, and we are back for another episode of Bear With Me. Episode 3. Well, episode 14, but episode 3. You know, these episodic games are very difficult to, to explain. <clears throat> totally have not um, hmm, played this game before. Um, <laughs> basically... I, I will be truthful. Basically, last night, before I went to sleep, I was like, alright, I need to record some Bear With Me. I recorded 15 minutes, and I couldn't get out of the first room. Because I didn't poke something that needed to be poked! Anyway. So. Now I just gotta... Got to figure out how to deal with the thing that I it poked that I didn't know I could be, that I didn't know I could be, but what, okay. what? Anyway, um, so, yeah, let's see, uh, I need an umbrella, pokey poke. Pointy things helped us out so far. And then pokey poke. Oh, wait. Can Sorry, gotta get this pokey poke. Bup, bup. Whoops. Whoopsie daisies, door panel, pokey poke. See, I was accidentally clicking on the door, and not the door panel itself. There seems to be a mechanism for the lock. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, anything past this, totally lost. So, yeah, you guys didn't miss too much. All right, so. There's a schematic. Uh-huh. So, the schematic thing is the mechanism thing on the wall. But I don't know what this means. Like, and there's the A. Then, bup, 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 bup. Like. Um. I don't know if it's supposed to go bup, 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 bup. Or if it's supposed to go bup, 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 bup. And what does bup, 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 bup mean? Or bup, 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 bup mean? <clears throat> Sorry about that. I got a text from my boss, and that's why there was a minor pause there. Um. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Sandman's helping me right now. Da, 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 da. Alright, so theory a game theory left, right, down, up. Left, right, wait. I did that backwards. Down. Up. I did that backwards. I even said as I clicked on them. Wait, was that right? Now what? I don't... I don't know what to do. I bet that the drawing on the back of the painting has something to do with this. No, I know it does. What? I must have made a mistake. Hmm. Okay, so there's supposed to be five. Okay, hold up. Hold up, there's supposed to be five. Does this count as an arrow, maybe? Would that be like the... Okay. So let's try... Let's do this actually left, right. Wait, no, 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 no. We should do... Um... South, east, I think it is. And then left, right, down, up. So, yeah, southeast. Left... 
right down up did you right I did right <laughs> open sesame who needs you bear I need bear <gasps> what Mr. Sandman, help me, guys. <gasps> I've left her there. I did. On that creaky old pier. It was more of a suggestion than a decision. I was walking slowly, just waiting for her to turn around, to yell at me to come back. Anything. She didn't. I've come to expect that from her. She's really headstrong. Difficult. Water. <gasps> Thomas, I can see traces of you in her eyes. The same look. That same twinkle when adventure calls, but most of the time, she just marches on to the beat of some other drummer. The one I can't hear so well anymore. I made a promise to you. Back then, when she was born, promises and old age don't go well together. She's constantly getting me in tough spots, and it's getting impossible for me to keep up. It was easier with you. We thought we could really make a difference. You and I, remember? We thought we could clean up this dump together. But then, you changed. You grew up. It happened so fast. With Amber, I feel she can do it all on her own. And I'm just here for the ride. I'm not blaming you. I never did. Even when Margaret knocked on the office doors and I saw that stupid look in your eyes, I knew. I knew our time was coming to an end. I watched you both grow up, and I remember you two becoming best friends. I was there for your wedding, man. I remember you coming home with your son a year later. You were so proud, and I was happy for you. A couple of years later, Amber came along, and I could smell trouble all over her. She was bad news from the start. When she grabbed and hugged me for the first time, my eye popped. But she was laughing. It was funny to her. I guess it was funny to me, too. Oh boy, I thought, this will never work. But it kind of did. I admire her in a way. Everything is new and exciting to her. And she embraces life with both hands until its eyes pop out. As King said, she really is something else. You made me promise I would always keep her safe. And God knows, I tried, even though she wasn't making it easy for me. I can tell you that much. This thing that's happening to her now, I feel she has to do this on her own. Besides, she said it herself. She doesn't need me anymore. No, I need And you. I need her as I need a bullet to my head. What I do need is a drink. I think I earned one after all. No. No. Come on, Bear. Don't do this. So... Where are we on that drink, pal? As I already told you, I'm not running a goddamn charity here, Ted. Times is tough. Besides, my name is Jameson, as you know. But you just kept referring to me as Thomas Why this whole it? time. Why Who the hell, hell is Thomas? Person. Hey, did I ask for your life story? Just get me a damn drink. You know I'm good for it. I don't, actually. You have an extensive tab here, Ted. You have to start paying soon, man. I told you this already. You damn squid. Who did you call first when you thought your wife was having an affair, hmm? Well, you. But you charged me for it. Yeah, well, you know, times is tough. At least I give you a friends and family discount. No, actually. You overcharged me for your field expenses, which were basically just you drinking here for free and having me drive you home every night. What's your point? My point is... And how can I put this lightly? You have to start paying for your goddamn booze, Bear. How's the missus? Oh, you know, she's doing okay. Wherever she is. Women, huh? <laughs> Tell me about it. Just give the man a drink, Jay. It's on me. Hey, Headless, when did you get here? I was literally here this whole time. You were actually telling me your story, but you kind of switched to Jay here mid-sentence. We thought it was weird, so we had a discussion about it while you were talking. You see, 
We both think this whole Amber thing is troubling you more than you're willing to admit. How'd you figure? You care for the girl, Ted, more than anyone else. You just basically told us your whole life story, even though we resisted actively. I mean, I tuned out so many times. I did my taxes in the meantime. Jay did his taxes. Anyways, all I'm saying is you, you know it's usually bad not when you do your taxes. You are just <laughs> rambling on for the past hour or so. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was being a burden on you, too. Come on, don't be like this, Ted. You're really still relatively relevant, you know? Yeah, sure, buddy. You're all that. Whatever, you lowlifes. Some friends you are. Go after the girl, Ted. She needs your help more than ever now. We all do. This is the time for a man to show who he really is. All that effort, it means nothing if you leave her now, when she needs you the most. Never thought of you as a quitter, honestly. <laughs> I did. He often quits on paying his tab. All right. You've made your point, goddammit. I'll get you the money by the end of the month. <laughs> sure. Now don't you go getting shot on me in the meantime. I could never do that to you, buddy. Go find her, Ted. She's probably alone and scared, and no matter what falling out you two had, I'll bet you my bottom dollar she wishes her partner is with her on this one. Yeah, yeah I guess. What the hell am I doing anyways? Talking to a couple of village idiots instead of finishing the goddamn case. How could I leave her like that? I mean, rude. Right. I have to go and find her. She needs my help. Headless, you got this, right? Right? Sure. Put this on his tab, too. Um... No time to talk. I have to go. I didn't... I didn't know that Ted has been through a lifetime, basically. I didn't realize that he was the dad's Teddy from, like, years and years ago. <laughs> I figured that he had been passed down from the brother to the sister, but holy crap. That's insane. Yeah, let's go to Tigran's Lair, because that's where Amber was. And for some reason, there's rubble. Always send the dumbest guys to solve convoluted puzzles. They always find the most creative solutions. Or they'll just break down the wall. <laughs> there's that. Huh. What happened here? A struggle. It didn't move since I last saw it. Oh. Huh. A truly remarkable garage door. It's really like nothing I've ever seen so far in life. Okay. Oh no, she's not here. Oh, that was the back room? Dude. So, wait. Could I have just gone out? <laughs> the door was wide open. Oh god, she's not in here. I can barely make out the outline on it. Mural? A two-headed snake. One is eating itself while the other isn't. Huh. I don't get it. Isn't that supposed to be a metaphor for life or time or something like that? Smells like know. teen, um, ghost. Teen ghost? What? I guess I'd need some slides and light to fire this thing up. Not literally. I just need to get it working. Okay, so what if I put this here... Let's see if this will work. And then... Voodoo stuff? I ain't touching that. <laughs> okay, you don't want to touch that. More voodoo stuff. Voodoo hat? Stylish. Except for the bones. I think it's still stylish. I'd wear it. Who would want to spend time with a stuffed animal? Am I right? Um... Um... Ted? I ain't touching that. I had enough of creepy inventory for today. I got... I got news for you, bud. Um... What kind of inventory do I have? I have carrot juice. Cool, cool. Can't pick that up. Huh. Wait, what did it say? Huh. As if this place wasn't creepy enough without flickering imagery. Huh. Okay, so I need a light. Ooh, can I hey talk there, to that? Hey there, buddy. Got any tips? Your mother washes socks in hell, day. Oh. All right. Calm down. Wow. B -b Bad day? That's one ugly deity. Did you say anything else? Hey there, buddy. Got any tips? Your mother washes socks in hell, day. All right. Calm down. Okay. Well, you know, uh, I'm glad that my mom's found a okay? job. Hey, you <laughs> down <right> there. there? <laughs> oh, I hope my mom doesn't watch. Sleep, my so video. I saw a Pulitzer nomination at the very I'm talking least. about Ted's mom, not my mom. Mm -hmm. 
Nah, I'm not food or tired. Just regular tired. Same. So is that what I needed? Maybe I can view it with the lantern. Okay. Lanterna Magica. Huh. As if this place wasn't... Okay, maybe not... Hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> All right, so I need some kind of light. Yeah. Doodles aren't really my forte. Okay. Classy. Huh. Kind of just want to see what he thinks about all this stuff. Eyes is the king. This cheese sure is not Gouda. Get it? Oh, they're best friends because they said the same thing. Does whatever a spider web does. Cap, please pick up this. I really uh, want that. Generic stick. rug comment. I mean, it's just a rug. Candle. I didn't even see a candle there. Oh, that, that little tiny thing is a candle. I thought that was a piece Maybe of chalk. Come in handy. When I was playing as Amber. All right, so put that in there, maybe. Huh. As Can please work. Smells like. It won't let me. Put that in there before. Hey, all right, call. Um. B before I, it, it was it was a good idea, right? Like I I didn't do that and mess up everything, right? It's pointing in a specific direction, as arrows tend to do. Really, arrows do that? Not Man. really, artisan woodwork, if you ask me. Not really artist in woodwork, if you ask me. Aha! It's broken, though. Hmm. Is this the last one? Maybe. Maybe not. This one's broken, though. Does that matter? Huh. As if... Okay, so... Oh, nope! There's one right there! Is this the last one? Maybe, please? Three is usually the magic number, right? Three is typically a magic number. Magical in the sense that typically after three, it's it's done. Uh, as okay, no. There's more. Well, that uh, candle I put in there wasn't lit. Um... You guys okay? Hey, you all right up there? <laughs> you guys okay? Uh. Zero reflex, a psychedelic experience. Call me Voodoo Jones. I just got an achievement. Did I seriously get an achievement because I click on a ton of things? Hm. I'm okay with it. Okay, still can't do anything with the incense. I figure, like, once I get everything in there that's supposed to be in there, um, the incense will let me use it to light the candle. I don't know. I don't see anything else. Ah, matches. I... 
Did I pick him up? No. Pick him up. I'll just take these again. I didn't even think it would let me pick those up, but I figured it was worth a try. Alright, so now we light the candle. Here goes nothing. The hell is this? It's like a narrative of our case. What's going on? How could Tigran know about this? She knew. So, okay. Yeah. The hell is this? Okay, that doesn't help me any. So there's the very beginning. Here's us trying to get into Paper Town. Don't understand. We s go our separate ways, and now, and now Amber is um tied up somewhere. Apparently, we know where. I can go there. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here though. Thank you all for watching. I am Angry Hippie Lady. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out everyone.